The brutal Hamas attack of October 7th and the ongoing escalation in the north and south has hit Israeli agriculture hard. Now the sector faces another equally deadly threat. June was the hottest month on record in Israel, as I understand. Most crops suffer from the heat and it affects both the quality and quantity, creating complete chaos and causing damage worth many millions of shekels. The unusual heat wave during June severely affected agricultural farms, causing crop damage estimated at over $8 million, according to figures released today by the Government Insurance Fund for Natural Risks in Agriculture. The fund noted that, in comparison, the damage to agricultural crops caused by the heat in June last year was only around $800,000. We received about 800 damage reports, most of them dealing with direct damage. What sets this year apart is the sequence of extremely hot days combined with hot nights, which did not supply the expected cooling. The damage is immense. You take a piece of fruit and see that it is simply burnt. When fruit is exposed to the sun this way, it is like going to the beach without sunscreen or long sleeves. Last June was the hottest month since 1991. The temperatures during this period were over three degrees higher than the multi-year average. And the bad news is that temperatures are expected to remain above the seasonal average in July and August as well. According to the Government Insurance Fund, the main damage was recorded in areas around the Sea of Galilee and the Jordan Valley, which experienced particularly prolonged heat waves, affecting watermelon, melon, potato, tomato, mango, corn, bean, and wine grape crops. The weather is not going to improve. Global warming is part of our reality and will accompany us for years to come. We must learn to cope with the weather. For farmers, this is another blow in an already tough year, mainly due to the shortage of labor following the mass exodus of many foreign workers after the events of the October 7th massacre. This in addition to the damage caused to many farms that were evacuated, destroyed, looted or burned in recent months. We have a labor shortage, which makes us struggle in the fields, but we are not abandoning them. The labor crisis has recently eased somewhat and imports have increased, but Israel's agriculturalists are still sounding the alarm about potential crop shortages that might be felt by every Israeli household in the near future.